Welcome to Miniranch. In this video, we will demonstrate how Atlassian Cloud SSO configuration works, with multiple identity providers, and how you could map users to different IDPs based on their email or username domain for login, using Miniranch brokering. As we know, we can configure SSO for Atlassian Cloud, using single identity provider, that supports SAML SSO protocol. But what if we want to configure authentication with more than one identity provider? That may support SAML or any other protocols? What if we want to force redirect users to different IDPs based on their email or username domain? Is it possible? Yes. We can achieve this use case by using Manyrange Identity Broker Service. Identity brokering is a way to establish trust between parties who want to use online identities of one another. Miniranj IDP supports cross-protocol brokering, which means in our case we can configure Atlassian Cloud which supports SAML protocol, with any identity providers that may support any other SSO protocols like OAuth OIDC, JWT, LDAP, etc. If SAML is supported by your identity provider, you can still use brokering, to use the features of Miniranj Identity Broker. Let's see few features of Miniranj Identity Broker. Multiple IDPs. You can configure multiple identity providers to authenticate different types of users with different IDPs. Multiple department-based login allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their department. Domain mapping allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their email domains. Custom attribute mapping is a provision to update the user profile attributes in the application, with the user attributes received from the IDP. Secure your SSO with signed requests and encrypted SAML assertions. Username transformation extracts the required username from the received attribute using regular expression. Group mapping allows to map users' IDP groups to application groups. Integrate your application with multiple user stores, like AD, LDAP, external database, etc. to easily manage your users. Easily migrate your server SSO settings into cloud. Faster and better troubleshooting issues, support, and end-to-end -end setup assistance. You can share plugin configurations and logs via email or customer portal. As we discussed before, you can configure SSO for your Atlassian Cloud instance using multiple identity providers like Octet, AWS Cognito, Shibboleth, Azure AD, ADFS, Google Apps, and many more, that may support any SSO protocols like SAML, Auth, OIDC, LDAP, JWT, through Miniranch Broker Solution. In this video, we will take an example of Octet and AWS Cognito as multiple identity providers. You will find the video link in the description to set up Atlassian Cloud as service provider, with Okta that supports SAML, and AWS Cognito that supports OAuth protocol, using Miniranj brokering service. In that video, you will find SSO configurations in two parts. SSO between Atlassian Cloud as service provider and Miniranj as identity provider in part 1. SSO between Miniranj's service provider and Octet and AWS Cognito as identity providers in part 2, and then finally concluding the setup by combining part 1 and 2, by showing SSO between Atlassian Cloud as service provider and multiple identity providers that is Octet and AWS Cognito, using Miniranj's identity broker. We have already configured SAML SSO between Atlassian Cloud as SP and Miniranj as IDP. Check out the video link in the description for this configuration. Here is the SAML configuration in Atlassian Cloud Access. And here in the Miniranj IDP dashboard, you can see that the Atlassian Cloud is configured using SAML protocol. In the part 2. We have configured SSO in Miniranj's service provider with two identity providers, that is Okta, which supports SAML, and AWS Cognito, which supports OAuth protocol. You will find the link of the setup video in the description. You can see those configured IDPs in Miniranj Identity Providers tab. If you face any difficulties while configuring SSO for your Atlassian Cloud app, 
You can write to us at atlasheansupport at securefy.com, or raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Further, we will be covering additional settings from multiple identity providers. That is, enable multiple IDPs login option for the users. Customize login page for showing multiple signing options. Login users based on their username or email ID domains. Accessing multiple SSO options through URL. Firstly let's enable multiple IDPs login option for the users. In the menu range dashboard, edit AWS Cognito OAuth application. Enable end user login. And show IDP to users. Save the settings. Now, let's edit the OpenSAML application for the same settings. Enable end user login and show IDP to users here as well. And save the settings. Now let's set many ranges default user store. Go to the user stores tab. Select many range and make it default. You can see that the many range is a default user store now. Now let's check the many range login page with multiple identity providers. Go to the Atlassian Cloud login page. Enter the user mail ID and proceed. User will be redirected to many range login page. Here, user can log in using either of the configured IDPs. If user click on AWS Cognito IDP button, user will be redirected to AWS Cognito login page for OAuth authentication. And if user clicks on Octet IDP button, user will be redirected to Octet login page for SAML authentication. This page is completely customizable. You can add or remove options from the menu range login page. Let's customize the menu range login page for multiple IDPs. Here we will be changing the heading of the page. We will remove username password fields, and sign in button by editing its JS file. And we will change the color of these button to make it look similar to Atlasian access page. Go back to menu range IDP. Navigate to Customization tab, and then go to Login and Registration Branding. Branding is the process of giving a meaning to specific organization, company, products or services. In the basic settings, by default the organization name will be Login. You can change your organization name as shown. You can host your many range site using organization name, which is basically a domain name. All your custom URLs will be based on this name. You can change the button's color on the login page as shown. To maintain the look, we have used similar color as that of Atlasian site. And you can also change the background color of the page using this option. You can edit the login page heading. Save the settings. You can see that the custom organization URLs have been changed. Now, in the logo and favicon section, you can upload your logo and favicon here. We are keeping it, as it is for this settings. As the custom URLs have been changed, we will have to update these URLs in Atlasian Cloud, Okta and AWS Cognito application. Go to the app section, and select the app, and go to its metadata. In the information required to authenticate via external IDP section, click on show metadata details. Copy the SAML login URL. Go back to the Atlasian Cloud. In the SAML single sign-on tab, edit the configuration. Paste the copied URL in the Identity Provider SSO URL field, and save the configuration. Again, go back to Mini Orange IDP. In the Identity Providers tab, we will edit the AWS Cognito OAuth application, and copy the OAuth callback URL. Go to the AWS Cognito application, navigate to App Client Settings, and replace the existing callback URL with the copied callback URL. And save the changes. Now in the Mini Orange IDP's Identity Providers tab, navigate to Okta SAML application, and go to Metadata. Click on Show Metadata Details. Copy the ACS URL. Go to the Mini Orange Broker application that we created in the Okta IDP. Navigate to the General Settings, scroll down to SAML Settings. Click on Edit, then click on Next. Here, update the single sign-on URL with the copied ACS URL. Now scroll down, 
and click on next. Click on finish. Let's check customize mini range login page. Go to the Atlassian Cloud login page. Enter the user mail ID and proceed. You will be redirected to mini range login page for SSO. This is the updated look of the mini range login page. We have removed sign in using many orange credentials option by editing its JS file. As we had changed the login page heading, as choose IDP for login, you can see the updated heading here. We had also changed the button color, and same has reflected on the login page. You can log in into your Atlassian Cloud dashboard with any of the configured IDP's credentials. If your mini orange login page doesn't look like this, or you want to customize the login page based on your use case, feel free to get in touch with us at Atlassian support at securify.com or raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Click on AWS Cognito. We will be redirected to AWS Cognito login page for OAuth authentication. Log in with your AWS Cognito credentials. And you will be successfully logged in to Atlassian Cloud Dashboard. Now in the mini orange login page, click on the Octet button. Hence, we are redirected to Okta login page for SAML authentication. Log in with your Okta credentials. And you will be successfully logged in to Atlassian Cloud Dashboard. Now let's see about domain mapping. If you have multiple IDPs configured, you could force the users to use a specific IDP based on the domain of their username or email. For example, in our case, we will redirect the user with the Securify domain to the AWS Cognito IDP, and users with the MiniRange domain will be redirected to Okta IDP. In the MiniRange IDP, Identity Providers tab, edit the AWS Cognito app. Go to the Domain Mapping field, we are adding Securify.com for AWS Cognito. And click on Save. Now edit the Okta app. In the Domain Mapping field, we will be adding MiniRange.com. And then click on Save. Let's see how Domain Mapping for multiple IDPs work. Go to the Atlassian Cloud Login page. Enter the User Mail ID and proceed. You'll be redirected to MiniRange Login page. You can enter username or email ID, and based on its domain, you will be further redirected to respective IDPs, as earlier we had mapped MiniRange.com domain for Okta application. Here, firstly we will enter the email ID with the MiniRange domain. Hence, we are redirected to Okta login page for SAML authentication, login with your Okta credentials. And you will be successfully logged in to Atlassian Cloud Dashboard. We had mapped Securify.com domain and AWS Cognito. So, now, in the mini orange login page, we will enter the mail ID, with the Securify.com domain. Hence, we will be redirected to AWS Cognito login page for OAuth authentication. Log in with your AWS Cognito credentials. And you will be successfully logged in to Atlassian Cloud Dashboard. Let's see about accessing multiple SSO options through URL. Earlier, we saw that to perform SSO, we were accessing Atlassian login page, then we were redirected to MiniRange login page, and then to IDP for authentication. If you want to skip Atlassian login page and directly access MiniRange login page, then go to the Apps tab in MiniRange IDP. Select the Atlassian Cloud SSO app, and click on Show SSO link. Copy this URL from the pop-up. Now go to the browser, and in the location bar, enter the copy URL and press enter. You'll be redirected to MiniRange login page. In case the domain is not mapped, this link will still work. In that case you will be redirected to MiniRange login page with multiple IDPs buttons. You can check our other Atlassian apps. LDAP Connector provides user authentication from various external directories for Atlassian access. Auth OIDC app allows users to log in into Atlassian Cloud with OAuth and Open ID Connect. Use two-factor authentication for secure login to your Atlassian Cloud applications. PDF Exporter app gives the ability to export JIRA issues, 
in the standard business document file format like PDF and Word document. Create and share secure links for JIRA issues and Confluence pages, allowing end users to access the issue and pages without login. We have covered multiple identity providers and domain mapping features of Atlassian Cloud SSO using Manure and Identity Broker Service. To understand more about SSO configuration for your Atlassian Cloud app, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Manurent provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.